Hello everybody, welcome back. It is our final week of WordGen before we have our big competition. And this week's uh, WordGen assignment is going to look a little bit different. Um, I said it in the, t in the chat box, but uh, I've been having some troubles with Edpuzzle, so I thought that I would do it this way today instead. Um, I think this is going to be a little bit easier on us. So I'm going to read through, uh, but I shared with you each a clickable worksheet and we'll get into that. So, our question this week, should victims' families all receive the same compensation? And our key terms for this week are compensation, financial, fund, recover, and sum. So follow along as I read for you. Do the math. Each state has a crime victim compensation program. These programs oversee funds to help crime victims or their families recover crime-related financial losses. Each state has its own rules. For example, Michigan's Crime Victim Compensation Program will pay for federal, excuse me, will pay for funeral expenses, medical bills, and lost wages. However, the maximum award is $25,000. The average sum awarded is $6,964. Option one, the federal government set up a special victim compensation fund for September 11th victims and their families. This fund awarded an average of $1.8 million to each victim or family. In the state of Michigan, the maximum award a crime victim or their family can receive is $25,000. So your question how many $25,000 awards would it take to total $1.8 million? Is it A, B, C, or D? 7, 72, 720, or 1,700? Now the way to answer is in these boxes here to just put an X in each one that you think to be the correct box. So it's up to you. It really depends on if you think $25,000 can that 1.8 million dollars can dish out seven $25,000 awards, 72 $25,000 awards, and so on and so on. So, moving on. Option two. The average sum awarded to the September 11th victim compensation fund was 1.8 million dollars. The highest sum awarded was 7.9 million. In 2014, the median, or it's the middle, average household income in the United States was $53,891. If $50,000 can support an average household for a year, how many years of support would $1.8 million provide? And likewise, how many years of support would $7.9 million provide? provide. And we got those two because the average sum was 1.8 million, but the highest sum, one family, was awarded 7.9 million dollars. So using $50,000 as the average sum uh, that can support a family, how many families, or how many years of support would 1.8 million dollars provide, and how many years of support would $7.9 million provide? And then here in the box where it says click here to type your answer, just click and you can type. You can type your answer right here. Last question. This is the one that I'm, honestly, this is the one I always look forward to and the one that I am looking forward to, especially with you guys, because all of your answers so far have been really well thought out or they they show that you've paid attention and that you're thinking about things. So, discussion question. Victim compensation programs help victims recover after a tragedy. The funds awarded cover costs like medical bills for wounded people, funeral expenses for murder victims, and lost wages. When lost wages are considered, people who have earned more money receive more financial help than people who have earned less. So people that generally earn more money are going to be awarded more money than people who 
generally earn less money. My question to you, is this fair? Is it fair to award more money to people who are already wealthier than it is to award money to people who are poorer? Or should we develop a different system that awards an equal sum to each victim? So no matter what amount of money you previously made, it, it's going to be one baseline. Why or why not? So should people who make less receive less than people who make more? Or should we develop a different system that awards an equal sum to each victim? So I'm looking forward to seeing your responses. And uh, like we would do in class, uh, as far as this part, you can choose either option one or option two. So I'm going to delete that real quick. So this is up to you, option one or option two. But I want everybody to, to try the discussion question because I love reading your responses. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I look forward to seeing what you have to write and have to say.